Hello again and welcome back. Today I am reviewing I'll Give You the Sun by Jenny Nelson. This is a traveling book uh, that Lindsay Ray did. I will link her channel below and her video about the traveling book. Um, I need to send this on so I'm I'm gonna do it. I have had it for way too long but I finally got to it and I'm really glad that I read it. I'll Give You the Sun is the story of two teenage twins, uh, Jude and Noah. Both are artistic and their mother is really artistic and it's partially about their relationship with their mother as they try to get into an art school for high school and also about their kind of romantic lives and kind of the repercussions of their close relationship as it kind of unravels and gets put back together again. This is one of the first YA books that I've read in a really long time and I'm actually glad that this is the one that I chose to read. I would definitely define it as a lot of fun partially because of the way it's written which I, I know a lot of people have gripes with but I thought it was really bright and descriptive and possibly overly metaphorical, but for some reason I found the tone of it really just fun. I think that would be my overall review of the book. It was fun. It was so refreshing to read from the perspective of an artist. I just like the way that Noah's narration worked and how he kind of like painted all the words. Maybe it was over the top, but most of the time that worked out and it was fun. The story is not really linear, which at first I found interesting, but as it went on I found that I kind of wanted to stick in one part of the story more than the other. And also because there were characters that kind of intersected with the twins at different times, it just gets a little crazy. But overall, you know, I thought that the way it flowed was alright. I had two really big gripes with the story. One was that it was kind of slow, and second, the ending is too perfect. Everything ends perfectly and everybody is happy and it seems a little bit unlikely. As far as I remember, the father is supposed to be like a college professor or something like that. Don't you think that maybe, well, I, can't, I don't want to spoil it, but in the end he does some money spending. That's all I'm going to say and it's like, wait, did he have the money for that? I don't know. Anyway, it was just too perfect of an ending and honestly it ruined the whole book for me because I was kind of enjoying it, it was really nice, it was very nostalgic for me, it reminded me of being a teenager and how strong your feelings are and how much everything matters and your relationship with your siblings and friends, like how they're different um, and also what it's like to be an outsider because I have always been really shy and so in high school I had some friends, but I didn't have a lot, and most people thought I was just really mean because I didn't talk. And that way, I, you know, it was fine, but the perfect ending overshadowed the rest of the book, the parts that I enjoyed, and the things that I related to. So that was a little disappointing. I gave it 3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads, so I guess I would say I enjoyed it, but I found some problems with it. I think I would recommend it to people if you're looking for something fun to read. I definitely think that it would work best for someone younger maybe because I think that that's really where the tone is like aimed. That's about all I have to say about it. I am really excited to send this on and I just want to thank Lindsay for letting me participate and putting up with the fact that I've had this book for two plus months. I am very sorry. That's all. I will see you guys later. Bye.